the program as far as you do snitch you know that so you got the paperwork you know that right you got the paperwork though right where the court date at what up, y'all? Stan, we back with another one. Of course, the 21 Savage saga continues, man. There's been a few rappers in history who have faced this. Y'all know Shine after the J-Lo and Puffy case. Your Slick Rick, when he got into legal trouble, he's from England. Patient Jack, who you know from Tupac's song. And so let's get to it. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Let's go. Part of that program, and I ain't put the work up. Because I put it up. He, boy. Yeah. See, I know about the program. I'm a real ex-convict, a victim of this legal system. Not because I wasn't wrong, because I got caught and had to do my time. The youth program's requirement is only offered to those who have information and that are willing to cooperate with the law. With that, they will freeze your, your court proceedings and they will not um, um, deport you. So um, with that, with that said, how does like you know, Twenty One's in Atlanta and they and like Young Thug and Gunna and them got this big Rico case. Twenty One is a citizen of London, of England. Right, but he's he is in not a U.S. citizen. When he caught the gun case and the dope case, he was he's about not, to be deported. Yeah, he doesn't have. Yeah, he does. He didn't. He was have about to be deported. Y'all Hall heard it, and all of a sudden it stops. And he ain't been to court since 2019. And he enrolled in the U program, which stipulates you have to cooperate with law enforcement. Now, they offer everybody this opportunity. If you refuse it, they make you sign a document that says, I'm refusing to enroll or be a part of this program, which they use that for their files. So when they deport you, you can't say they didn't give you opportunity. He cannot produce that paperwork, and he will not deny that he's a part of that program. You chilling with the answer? Now, mm. I've been had this 18 months, and we ain't gonna ignore the fact that that DA said it's a well-known rapper. That's the, uh, one of the main informants. We ain't gonna ignore the fact that a district attorney will never ever release but any Wayne, information. Those are, Listen, those are some that DA will never release any information on they rack. They will not do it unless that informant, bro, is getting cold feet. They ain't gonna tell you it's a rapper. They ain't gonna tell you where they from. They ain't gonna release none of that. Let's start getting cold feet on the back See, this is where the back family came from. The lady said, I ain't giving up no deals. We go into the box. You know what that means to not? That means you can't take a deal to save the informant. The informant going to have to get on that stand. And if they don't get on the stand, they going to press play on what you said prior to. The lady said, I ain't giving up no deals. This is how a lot of is saved. To, get a, to take a deal, you never see it. When it comes to the streets, it ain't morally wrong to expose that part of that program, bro. Explain that. And bro, is he a snitch? Uh, are you saying he a snitch or he just a part of the program? The program is for you to snitch, you know that. So you got the paperwork? You know that, right? You got the paperwork, though, right? Where the court date at? You got the you paperwork? You, you didn't call, call him a snitch. Hey, I didn't want to see the paperwork. To you, cause you just said, I ain't going to call it. Real quick, there's a lot to unpack with this. There was a lot of legal talk in this conversation where they were talking about the court date that he hasn't had in three years. You got the pandemic. Then you got his lawyers pushing for continuances, all types of things like that. And then the most interesting thing is when dude was trying to point blank whack for the paperwork. What is it that you could show? Because if, if you're a CI, there's not going to be any paperwork. Are you trying to show that he signed up for the U program, which, you know, obligates a person to cooperate if necessary? Um, so I don't even know where the onus of proof is. Then they were also talking about they're going to make you sign something where you denied it. So that way they can't say before they deport you that they didn't give you the option. So, you know, Shine got deported. No option. Haitian Jack got deported, wasn't given the option. So with 21 still being in the country, it begs the question. But without any hard empirical evidence, it's still just speculation unless you can show the paperwork where he signed up for the U program, right? Which implies what it implies. Or he can show his denial of such program. 
But I guess we'll wait and see. Let's get back to the conversation. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Yo, he Slick is Rick not a citizen. Back. Slick Talking Rick like you shine. came over here and started Yo, banging. Why, why you think yeah, that? Shine, you know that, uh, my fair. man, I'm Haitian fair, Jack. Fair. Haitian Jack got sent back over a gun. I talk to him every day, bro. He got sent back to Hades over a gun. Keeping it real. But at the end of the day, I didn't start it, but I always get to blame for finishing. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Like I said, man, it's a wait and see type of deal. Like, who is the burden of proof on? Is it on 21 because he got called out? Is it on whack because he called him out? Let's see where it goes from here. But until one side or the other shows something definitive, you know, it's just a lot of speculation and whatnot. So um, it's the answer, man. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Until next time, like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate the support, man. We out.